New at 11, a Bay Area University could be setting a precedent for schools across California. UC Berkeley says it will follow the state and the city of Berkeley in dropping masks in most indoor places. As NBC Bay Area, Stephanie Magallon tells us, the change is getting some mixed reaction. In a few weeks, campus life at UC Berkeley could look a whole lot different. Awesome. Oh, my God. I can't wait for the mask has been destroying my, my, my social life. The university says as of February 28th, fully vaccinated and boosted faculty and students can drop their masks in most indoor settings. I really wish to, you know, to drink my bubble tea without a mask. I'm like a healthy person. But that's not the case for everyone. Some are concerned and think it's too soon. And now that they're lowering the mask mandate and not providing online accommodations, it really is a slap in the face to Everyone. This is a public open university. You see, there's no uh, gates around. Anyone can come and go as they please. So, dropping the mask mandate seems pretty irresponsible. Colleges, in a way, are health some experts of the most like Dr. Monica Gandhi say they support the move. She says we have higher vaccination rates, more immunity after the Omicron surge, and now we have therapeutics. There's, there's just lots going on in the world where adults are starting to. Um, have normal lives in this country and yet college students are less at risk than any other group and they're vaccinated so it really does make sense for this group for colleges to stop stop their restrictions i think that if, other experts uh, like dr peter chin well, hong say if everyone is vaccinated it's okay to not have mandates but that doesn't mean we shouldn't wear masks particularly those who are immune compromised or if they live off campus and live with elderly relatives who are older unboosted they may want to take it very um, carefully and wear a mask. In Berkeley, Stephanie Magallon, NBC Bay Area News.